हेलो स्टूडेंट्स स्टैंडर्ड सेवन चैप्टर नंबर थर्टीन एक्सपोनेंट्स एंड पावर्स वी लर्न द डिफरेंट लॉस एंड स्टार्टेड एक्सरसाइज थर्टीन पॉइंट टू क्वेश्चन नंबर वन वॉज फिनिश क्वेश्चन नंबर टू नाउ सिंप्लीफाई एंड एक्सप्रेस ईच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इन एक्सपोनेंशियल फॉर्म इन एक्सपोनेंशियल सो द लास्ट आंसर मस्ट बी इन द एक्सपोनेंशियल फॉर्म वी डोंट नीड टू फाइंड द फाइनल आंसर फर्स्ट वन टू क्यूब थ्री रेस टू फोर मल्टीप्लाई बाय फोर डिवाइड बाय थ्री मल्टीप्लाई बाय थर्टी टू नाउ एज आई ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन दैट वेन देर आर कंपोजिट नंबर्स वी हैव टू राइट डाउन देम एज अ पावर ऑफ इट्स प्राइम फैक्टर्स So now, two cube multiplied by three raised to four. We know that four is two square. So in place of four, we write down two square. Three. Now thirty-two. We know it's thirty-two. Sixteen two is a two. Eight is a two. Four is a two. Two is a two. One is a one. Two three four five. So it is two. Raise to power five. So now you can see that all the numbers are as the product of its prime factors. So now when they are having same base, we can apply the rules. So on the top you can see that two raise to three and two raise to two. So you can add them two raise to three plus two. Three raised to four, two raised to five into three. So two raised to five upon two raised to five. Here you can see that three raised to four and here one. So you can apply four minus one. Now here two raised to five, two raised to five are same. You can cancel. So answer is. Three raised to four minus one is three. So that is our final answer. You know, don't need to write down the answer of like three, three, the nine, three, the twenty-seven, because it is only simplified. If it then is evaluated, you can write down. But in simplification and write down in the exponential form, you don't need to do that. Let's uh, do the next one. Second, five square cube, five raised to four divided by five raised to power seven. So here you have to use the rule power of power. So five raised to two three is a six. Divide by you can write down in the denominator. So five raised to six plus four upon five raised to seven. Six plus four is ten. So now the rule. So five raised to ten minus seven. And that is five cube.
थर्ड वन ट्वेंटी फाइव रेस्ट टू फोर डिवाइड बाय फाइव क्यूब नाउ ट्वेंटी फाइव इज फाइव स्क्वायर एंड पावर फोर डिवाइड बाय यू कैन राइट डाउन डाउन फॉर योर कन्वीनियंस सो इज इक्वल टू फाइव रेस्ट टू टू फोर जा एट डिवाइड बाय फाइव क्यूब so 8 minus 3 so your final answer is 5 raised to 5 fourth one 3 multiply by 7 square multiplied by 11 raised to power 8 And in the denominator, twenty-one multiplied by eleven cubed. Now, here it is. Twenty-one is only not a prime number, so we will convert it. Three seven is twenty-one. Now here three three is already cancelled. So now, on the numerator seven squared upon seven here, so we can use the rule seven raised to two minus one, and eleven raised to eight minus three. Two raised to uh, seven raised to two minus one is one. So seven into eleven raised to eight minus three is five. So, eleven raised to power four. That will be your final answer. Fifth one. Three raised to seven. Upon three raised to four into three raised to three. So now first we have to simplify. In the denominator, by using the first power law, four plus three, and that is three raised to seven upon three raised to seven. Now you can see that same are there, so you can cancel them to write down the answer. One. Sixth one. Two raised to zero plus three raised to zero plus four raised to zero. That is very simple. Any integer raised to power zero becomes one. So is equal to one plus one plus one. Sometimes chance of making mistake in a hurry. People say two raised to zero is zero, three raised to zero is zero, four raised to zero is zero, zero plus zero plus zero is zero. That is wrong. Any number raised to zero, answer is one, not zero. So it is one plus one plus one. Let's take the seventh one. Seventh one says two raised to zero. Multiply by three raised to zero. Multiply by four raised to zero. Here also same. So answer is also same three. Obviously not, because here it is one multiply by one multiply by one. So there is one cubed. Or you can write down one only also, because one cube is also one. So. By this way, but uh, the remaining in homework. So the others in this question number two, there are few, and they are simple also. So you can do it yourself. Now third question, 
say true or false and justify your answers first one tan multiplied by tan raised to 11 is equal to 100 raised to 11 so it looks like it is true why right? tan multiplied by tan is 100 and power 11 so 100 is 11 but it is not true so it is false because tan into tan raised to 11 will be tan raised to 1 plus 11 because here it is one power invisible and so we have to add the power and the answer is tan raised to 12 not 100 raised to 11 So don't get confused like that. Second one, two cube is greater than five square. Now, generally, more power means more. I mean, greater number? No. What is two cube? Two to the four to the eight. Five square is twenty-five. So this is also. False, because two cube is equal to eight and five square is equal to twenty-five. So eight is smaller than twenty-five. Third one. Multiplied by three square is equal to six raised to five. That is the most common mistakes people are doing. Students sometimes clever students also. You see here, what do they do? Multiplication so they will do two, three, or six. And first rule said. Powers must be added when there is multiplication. So two threes are six. Three plus two five. So it is two. But uh, when the powers are also not equal, bases are not equal. You can't do anything. So that is false. Because. we cannot apply any rule here any laws here so don't do that mistake here fourth one 3 raised to 0 is equal to Thousands raised to zero. Is it true? Three raised to zero and thousand raised to zero cannot be equal. Or what? It is equal. You know that any number raised to power zero is what is one. So three raised to zero is also one. Thousand raised to zero is also one. Crore raised to zero is also one. So they have same answer. So it is true. Because three raised to zero is also one, and thousand raised to zero is also one. So both of them are equal. Let to the question number four. So here in question number four, what is that? Express each of 
the following as a product of prime factors only in exponential form in exponential form first one is 108 multiplied by 192 So now here, separately we have to find out the prime factorization, and then we will combine them. So now, what is 108? You can do that factorization in the rough. 54. Then. Twenty-seven So one of it can be written as two squared multiplied by three cubed Similarly hundred and ninety-two So 192 nine two is eighteen, six two is twelve, forty eight, twenty four, twelve, six two is twelve, and three one. So Two raised to six into three. So now we can bring the same base numbers together. Two raised to two into two raised to six. Three raised to three into three. So now we can apply two raised to two plus six. Three raised to three plus one. And therefore, your final answer is two raised to eight multiplied by three raised to four. Second one, two hundred and seventy. Now, two hundred and seventy. Also, you can write down. Three to the five to the. It is divisible by three. Three four to the twelve. Fifteen three to the forty five. Three five to the five one to the. So two multiply by. Three multiply by three multiply by three by five. So two multiply by three cubed. Multiply by five. That is the product. And uh, others you can do in your homework. Very simple. Just you have to factorize them in your prime factor in the rough page, or you can show in the method also. Not a problem. Same thing. So here we are going to finish the session, and we'll be followed by PDF. Any confusion? Write in the comment section. Thank you very much.